Hello, I'm Tai Hui, the Chief Market Strategist of Asia Pacific at JP Morgan Asset Management. And welcome to this series of videos discussing the economic and market outlook for 2022. Now, we will discuss three areas in this series of videos. First, the global economic and political outlook and China's growth prospects. In our next two videos, we will discuss inflation outlook of the US and Fed policy, and then obviously asset allocation and investment outlook. The global economy will be entering its third year of COVID-19 pandemic, as businesses and authorities are gradually migrating their tactics from a pandemic to an endemic. Emergency stimulus is being reined back, and this will shift the investment landscape in the coming year. So the first question is, where are we in the economic cycle? Overall, we believe that the global economy is still in the early to mid part of the economic cycle. The fastest recovery growth phase is likely to be behind us in developed economies such as the US and Europe, but there is more room for acceleration in Asia and emerging markets. For China, growth rates should start to stabilize in the first half of 2022 with modest fiscal and monetary stimulus. Domestic demand and services are expected to replace exports in delivering growth in 2022. In the US, the reopening of the economy and aggressive fiscal stimulus have boosted growth in 2021. Having returned to the pre-pandemic level of economic activities, the US is expected to expand along its long-term trend growth. Both consumption and corporate investment have picked up this year. For additional growth momentum, the US will need to resolve a number of supply-side constraints, including labor shortages. For Asia and emerging markets, having trailed in economic performance in 2021, these regions are expected to be in a strong position to rebound. Immunity against COVID-19 from both vaccination and infection is picking up in these regions. This should allow governments to treat COVID-19 as an endemic and open up their domestic economies and borders. This will allow for a more comprehensive recovery, especially for Asian economies that are dependent on tourism and people flow. Overall, we expect to see the impulse of global growth to shift from developed economies to Asian and selected emerging markets. There's also the difference in goods versus services, where the former has made a robust recovery with consumers around the world shopping from home. Services, especially travel and tourism, should have more room to catch up once COVID-19 is handled as an endemic. Now, what are the key political events to watch out for? In addition to a number of elections in the Asia-Pacific region, such as South Korea, the Philippines, and Australia, the most important election in 2022 is arguably the midterm elections in the US on November 8th, where all seats in the House of Representatives and 34 out of 100 seats in the Senate will be up for elections. The Democrat Party has a slim majority in both. History of the midterm elections does not favor the President's party. Since 1982, the President's party have lost Senate and House seats in seven and eight out of 10 midterm elections, respectively. This means that there's a strong chance that President Biden could lose the majority in either the House or Senate, or even both, for the second half of his term. And this could make policy implementation even more challenging. Generous fiscal stimulus is less likely, which will help to cap inflation risk. This could also imply a lower probability of tax hikes for the corporate sector. Now, another important political event is China's 20th Party Congress, which should be taking place in the fourth quarter of 2022. President Xi Jinping is expected to retain his leadership role for another five years. One question will be whether his leadership team will see substantial changes. Now, long-term development themes such as common prosperity, boosting birth rates and overall level of population growth, reducing dependence on imports and moving towards carbon neutrality are expected to be maintained. The reform agenda is likely to continue and still pose as a potential source of market volatility. The last question of the day, what changes should we expect to see on China's economic model? Now, on the minds of policymakers, China is facing long-term challenges in terms of environmental sustainability, low population growth, need for greater self-sufficiency in technology production, and financial stability. To tackle these issues, corresponding initiatives are introduced including decarbonization, education reforms, and property market control, antitrust in technology sectors, and credit control. On top of these policies, Chinese leadership sets a goal for common prosperity, i.e. a more equal distribution of income and wealth amongst its people, which forms a solid basis for sustainable growth. 
Now, given the long-term characteristics of these policies, it is also critical to balance between long-term sustainability and short-term stability. Entering 2022, credit condition in the property market might continue to improve to support first-time home buyers and housing construction projects. Meanwhile, investment by local governments may rebound. The emphasis will also be the quality rather than the pace of economic growth. Therefore, overall GDP growth might slow down to less than 5%. This would lead to slower growth in aggregate corporate earnings, which means could require more active management in company selection. In 2022, investors should consider the sectors with ample policy tailwinds. This implies decarbonization and new energy, self-sufficiency in technological hardware, and resilience of domestic technological supply chains should be major themes to follow. Meanwhile, opportunities might appear in consumer staples and service sector where growth stabilizers and valuation still remain as attractive. Now, thank you for watching. In our next video, we will discuss US inflation in more detail and what the Federal Reserve could do. If you want to get a latest copy of our 2022 year ahead, please reach out to your JP Morgan Asset Management client advisors.